Hi, so we built uh, gloves that can act as a keyboard. So it lets you type on any surface. So as you can see, as I press fingers, um, it'll type in the actual computer. Um, so far we have basic, the basic letters, a comma, a period, and then a backspace implemented. And so you're, you're detecting the curl of the fingers. Yes, with these flex sensors. So we have a flex sensor on each uh, of these eight fingers. Okay, and on the tip of the finger? On the tip of the finger are push buttons. Uh, okay. And then um, another piece we want to ambiguate is with the index fingers, they're responsible actually for four columns. So it's, you know, for the left one, it's R, F, V, as well as T, G, B. And so we have these copper pads in between to detect whether your index finger is together yeah, or, or apart. Ex extended towards the center. I see. So that, oh, I see. So you can extend towards the center that way. Yeah. yeah. And then lastly, we also have uh, buttons on the thumbs for space bars. For sp oh, and, yeah, we have space bars. And, and so the, the, the flex sensors have to distinguish three different levels? Only. Yes. So very flexed, moderately flexed, not flexed. Right. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Yep. And then... Um, yeah, so in terms of other hardware, here, uh, this breadboard... So we just... have the voltage dividers for all of the flex sensors and push buttons here, and they're grouped by finger. Mm -hmm. So um, just, yeah. So yeah, each flex sensor has a voltage divider, and then we have a pull-up resistor for the buttons. Mm -hmm. um, then um, we bring them over here. Um, we have two 8 to 1 muxes um, for the, the both the flex sensors and buttons for the fingers. Mm -hmm. um, and just then, to reduce uh, the number of pins. That and we then have the, the PIC32, point to that. So this is the PIC32, but first we have um, the, the MUXs for the buttons and the flex sensors, and the output of the MUX for the flex sensor, um, we actually amplify it over here. Yeah, so you can look at the oscilloscope to see about how much dynamic range we have. So this is me wiggling my finger back and forth. Um, and then it's based on, you know, if I press a different button, then I have to flex a different number. So depending on what button I press, you can see the steady state is kind of different. Um, mm -hmm. And so we have certain, like, spe specific thresholds for each different finger because of that. I see. Okay. Yep. Okay. And, and so how much practice does it take to, to make this go? Um, so calibrating, um, it's pretty easy. I think right now we actually just, you press every letter key once. Um, so Q through P and then, you know, the whole alphabet, comma, period, uh, slash. So yeah, we just hit each key three times and then we uh, average the value and then have a threshold that's just uh, pretty much like between, say, the top row and the middle row, we just take the average of the two as the threshold. I see. So you're 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 having the system learn the learn your specific hands. Yes. And uh, have both of you tried it? No. So the problem is we can calibrate it for different, like slightly different typing styles, um, but for the size of the hand, we haven't been able to adjust it for that yeah, because of the placement of just the flex sensors. So. Yeah, and the button is also very specific. Like, it has to be really on the tip of your finger okay, because hold, you... Hold, that, hold up so I can see the button. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, it's a just little a push, tiny, tiny button. Yeah, it's a button. tiny yeah. button. Oh, okay. So it's really important that it's really on the tip of your finger so that as you flex it, it's still... You can still press it. So theoretically, anyone with the same size hand as BG can use these gloves <laughs> I see. to type. But, but, My hands yes. are a little smaller. But so. you'd have to you'd have to rework the gloves for a smaller hand. Yeah. Yes. Fair enough. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Thank right. you.